I did quit drinking during pandemic. Shortly after this, I did. It's it's so sad. I hate quitting drinking. It's so it's not fun. It isn't. I've lost all of my friends. I have no friends. Um, I'm still smoking weed. Don't worry, people. <laughs> Thank you. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all are nice. Most people are like, I quit drinking, but I still smoke weed. And people are like, that's worse. <laughs> no, now I just drink coffee and smoke weed, which is terrifying. I don't know if anyone's ridden that roller coaster, but I'm shocked I'm here standing before you nice people. It's scary. I got catfished by that man who gave me crabs also. Um, he was not as young as he said. He was old enough to play Santa Claus. <laughs> Catfish, no abs, instead crabs. It was the saddest, saddest date I've ever been on. <laughs> so it was just me and my dog. Like, I'm no longer looking for love. I'm just looking for circuit parties and estate sales. I, uh... <laughs> I have... Gay men love an estate sale joke. <laughs> they f***ing love it. Almost as much as they love a discount. <laughs> oh, I hope a coupon joke is coming next! <laughs> just alone and horny with my dog. Not horny with my dog, I'm just home. <laughs> and he's also there. He's picked up. The, my dog absolutely knows. He's got the picture. He knows that I am unemployed. He figured it out. And I keep trying to remind that b that we are unemployed. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to find a job. Now it's crazy. Like, it's very hard to find a job during pandemic because nobody's hiring old hookers. So, like, I'm out of luck, you know? Nobody's hiring a that. <laughs> It's just crazy. I feel, because, I, like, I, I, I want everything to go back to normal. Like, everybody does. It's like, we all just want everything to go back to normal, but we can't because we're up against a bunch of stupid people who, like, don't know how to handle, like... <laughs> you know? Like, what did I say about straight guys and eating <laughs> It's like, wash your hole, you know? If we're gonna do this together, you gotta wash your hole. It just makes me insane. Cause like, I, I, I'm not against doctors. Like we need doctors. I'm, I'm I, like, we need doctors, I get it. Like I don't like doctors, but I'll still wear a mask cause I don't wanna go to the doctor. Like, I don't wanna do that. I hate the doctor cause they ask you all the same questions. They're like, do you do drugs? I'm like, yes. <laughs> hate the doctor <laughs> but like they're wrong all the time doctors are wrong all the time i grew up in texas right i know hee haw i grew up in texas ha ha um I, I, thank you i'm a fifth generation texan which means technically they can shoot me for being gay but whatever um, it's fine uh, I, I grew up in Texas, and in the third grade, our school nurse gave everyone uh, in, in school a, a scoliosis check. Y'all know that word, scoliosis? It means, yeah, it means you're crooked. Uh, and so we all end up like a bunch of outside the nurse's door, and we all walk in one by one. And you got a picture like little third grade Daniel. You know what I mean? I'm just like, you know, tapered pants, <laughs> the chili bowl, you know, straight. Super straight. Butch little nine-year-old. I was so cute. Had an Angelica Houston shirt on. Um, I did. And the nurse pulls me in, and she measures my supple, petite shoulders. And the nurse, she slaps me on the back. She goes, yep, you got scoliosis. I go, what did you call me? So, you guys got to understand, no one has ever told me that I'm not perfect. You got to understand, like, that does, I don't get a honk for that. Oh, f*** you! F*** you!